Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to JGL Gaming, and welcome back to the Byzantine Empire, and your girl Basilissa, Basilissa, Julia of the Byzantine Empire. Yes, last time, um, I don't quite remember actually what we did last time. Oh yeah, we conquered, uh, we, we, we attacked Mr. Pope, man, yeah, that, that's it. Yeah, that's why there's a, there's a king here now, who is also my husband. As we grabbed this county from the Pope, which took us most of the episode, because it was a brutal war that was joined by most of the Catholic kings in uh, in Europe. Uh, but more importantly, um, we actually uh, made some very nice intrigue plays. We seduced this man, Richard Capet. And Capet is, of course, if you're French, you will probably know this, but Capet is the ruling house of uh, the Kingdom of France. And the last Capet was... Uh, Louis Philippe, I think. Yeah, so he uh, he uh, he was only deposed in 1848, um, and the Capets uh, are already in charge uh, for for several hundred years. And Richard Capet is the last uh, in uh, in a long line of Capets. He is the nephew of the King of France. Uh, we seduced him because he is the heir to the Kingdom of Egypt, uh, and We've made him a king, so that hopefully, when uh, Queen Maho, the monster, dies with Plantagenet, um, he will inherit it, and Egypt will come under us peacefully. So let, let's see if that, if that will work. There, sh there should certainly are a lot of people willing to join the plot, which is great news. So it might be that in the first few minutes of this episode, we will suddenly double our empire without shedding a single drop of blood, or... We might lose uh, our husband's kingdom. I'm not quite sure how the game works, but let's see. Yeah, I might, I might uh, arrange, arrange betrothal from this guy. This part of Sicily wants to marry my half sister. No, no, we will leave my half sister for now because she's great. She can be, uh, she can be in our court, single for a while. Uh, we are trying to seduce this guy. There's no rush. Yeah, he hates. Me. He doesn't hate me. He's in uh, in affection. I think. Maybe not anymore. No, he's still here. We already sent him some money, right? I oh, know he was too expensive. <laughs> Excellent news, 415 gold. We might actually uh, want to uh, start upgrading some stuff again. For example, the hospital, maybe? Separated wards? Yeah, why not? A lot of money, but uh, it's worth it, I think. Uh, yeah, I, I will give up. I guess he's uh, somewhere else. It's not that important. Okay, let's check out this plot. 181% plot power. This Earl may, might want to join us. 100 gold is a bit much, though. Yeah, let's uh, let's keep it at this. Uh, oh, you're, you're not married. Otherwise, I would have seduced your husband. <laughs> and we might have been able to uh, to convince him to uh, help uh, help with the murder. Great. New hospital will also help uh, a lot. We're already at 44% disease resistance, but... What's happening? Some count is moving out of my kingdom. How is the crown law going? Let's try to raise that to medium again. I think our um, our aunt uh, tried to do that as well, but uh, she uh, she failed. But maybe we will succeed. Uh, it seems like at least some people are willing to vote for it. Quite a few, actually. But it might still be a while before uh, it passes, which is fine. You know, I, I prefer medium crown authority just because it means that your vessels cannot fight internally. Uh, but, uh, I mean, we don't really need the troops. We uh, we can handle most enemies already. But uh, yeah, a bit more troops wouldn't, uh, wouldn't, wouldn't hurt. Yes, assemble them up. Burn down the trade post, please. Yes, thank you. Uh, Patricia of Doria. Grand city of Torres. Supreme Republic of Genoa. Okay, yeah. We should maybe fight an embargo war against them. And it's good that the Cretans are uh, are also uh, ex expanding a bit. I, I was kind of expecting the the Serbian the Serbian Republic to to uh, spread out a bit more, but yeah, they have some trade posts here and there. But they're, they they haven't really uh, managed to capture many trade posts, uh, many trade zones. So uh, maybe uh, maybe later, you know. Oh, we still have a navy raised. I guess that vessel must help me. <laughs> now mine's eleven only. Sorry about that, my man. We forgot about that. Alright. I wonder uh, when this plot will fire. That's kind of what I'm waiting for now. I don't, uh, I don't really want to fight a... Uh, sort of succession war or something. 
Uh, Richard Ibn André de Poitou is no longer a participant. As is Lies Julia joined the war as attacker, really? I didn't, I didn't ask for that. Syrian J Jerusalemite de Jirovar over Baalbek. What happened? Oh, I inherited the kingdom of Anatolia. Okay, this this woman. No, she didn't die. She was. What happened? We made her the the the, the viceroy of Anatolia, right? Where did you go? Where did you go, my woman? <laughs> she is lunatic with abdominal pain, and she doesn't have long to live anyway. Uh, who are we fighting again? The Jure War over Baalbek, which is there. That's fine, I suppose. I kind of wanted to fight. Uh, to wait for this guy to die and then press the claim to the uh, Kingdom of Jerusalem for my mom. That would be great. But uh, I guess we're, we're fighting, the, fighting them now. I'm not quite sure what happened, but it's fine. If you guys know what happened, you know, let me know. Um, this guy, oh, he's great. He's the force the just. Yeah, definitely, we're gonna give you the, the vice royalty. Here you go. Let's go to Baalbek. Grab some other guys on the way. Another 3k. For the Kingdom of Syria. Duchy of uh, Galilee can, uh, can aid us as well. This should be enough, right? We don't need to bother our uh, our main levy with it. Uh, we will lead ourselves. And we will have this flanker on the one flank. And this guy on the other flank. The Ecumenical Patriarch. We will just teach this, uh, this down. That's fine. Oh, I'm pregnant. Will my husband believe it's his? Hmm. <laughs> uh, Vasilios is my lover. Ah, that's fine, I guess. Good news, uh, darling. <coughs> Does he have good intrigue? No, not at all. <laughs> so he probably won't find out. That's the advantage of being a woman, right? You know that the kid is going to be mine, regardless. <laughs> that's the most important thing. Doesn't matter if it's my husband or uh, or my lovers, because my lover, in fact, is even better because he's strong and attractive. So my kid might become strong and attractive. Mm, oh, ouch! As I place a hand over my belly and slowly sit down, a soft smile my, my, makes its way across my face. The baby is kicking again. I wonder if he will grow up to be a warrior. Uh, I'm sure I'm carrying a fierce little soldier. Yeah, sure, why not? I'm stressed. Okay, too bad. Uh, my Michael Paleologo, so that's my brother, right? Oh, he's also an elus elusive shadow. Ah, ah, okay. <laughs> My co-conspirator Duke Gabriele the Third of Fayum has let me know that Queen Mahout, Ma Maho of Egypt will die by poisoned wine at an upcoming banquet. Okay, come on. Come on. I really hope we, we inherit it all. I'm not quite sure, but I hope we do. Come on. Damn them all to hell. Come on. Drink the wine. Drink the wine, you... you monster. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I can't believe that worked. That worked. <laughs> okay, my, my husband inherited a whole bunch of stuff. Blade of the Cross, Nail of the True Cross, French Crusader armor. Great. Inherited Kingdom of Egypt and other titles from Queen Maho the Monster. She died not only the name of a killer, even better. I think I will celebrate with the whole oh, look at this, guys. Ha! <laughs> they say the intrigue game doesn't pay. But it does. It does pay. Because <laughs> we, we didn't shed a single drop of blood here. Well, we did. We killed like three of my husband's family members. But we didn't we didn't fight a single war for all this land. <laughs> my husband is now by far the most powerful vessel I have. But he loves me, so who cares? <laughs> He's even orthodox. Holy shit. Uh, comforted. Fine, I suppose. Richard Ricardo, the new king of Africa, Egypt, and Yemen, and Bulgaria, <laughs> uh, has uh, enlisted the help of some of the women in our family to cheer me up and keep my mind off my pregnancy while I wait for the child to be born. Fine, I suppose. Man, okay, now it's just Jerusalem to go. And we will be almost there. What about the the uh, the Great Schism? Holder is Orthodox. Okay, okay. So we need we need to uh, to convert uh, Antioch. 
That's fine. Let's uh, let's move our guy over there. Uh, not Antioch, Alexandria. Let's do that. This guy is imprisoned. And he is Catholic. That's too bad. Well, let's see. Let's see what happens. We might actually... Uh, no, nah, we cannot do that, I guess. I was just going to say we might want to uh, uh, fabricate a claim here and then revoke it. But uh, let's, uh, we, we cannot do that because this is my a vessel of my vessel. So we cannot revoke it from him anyway. With the city back under East Roman control, the Patriarchate of Alexandria has been properly restored as one of the Episcopal sees of the Pentarchy in the Eastern Orthodox, Chur Orthodox Church. It was originally founded by St. Mark the Evangelist, who became Alexandria's first Patriarch. God be praised. The province of Aegyptus. The dark times are over for the people of Aegyptus. Aegyptus, as Roman rule, has been restored to the province once more. The land of the pharaohs served well as the breadbasket of the old empire, and it will again become a vital cornerstone in the continued prosperity of the glorious Roman state. Long live the empire. Well, indeed. Ha, we even own, like, Mecca. <laughs> it's all Catholic, that's too bad. <laughs> but we struck, uh, we struck a major blow here against, uh, against the Catholics. I've been appointed to your reach, so I guess I am in my last months of pregnancy. I do hope my husband will think that the kid I'm carrying is his. Else he'll have a problem. Um, what a blissful life I have. Just soup, the baby is hungry. Um, yeah, I want to lose stressed. I don't want to lose ambitious. A daughter was born in the purple. Sophia Paleologos. Sure. And I think my husband thinks it's his, even though it's probably not his. <laughs> she is the new heir to yeah, the kingdom of Africa. What about the kingdom of uh, Egypt? Who is the heir to that? Yeah, also also my daughter. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, who is our Constantine still? Eh? Let's let's make our half brother for now the uh, the new heir. Or my half sister. Now nah, let's go with my brother. Vessels like it when you go for uh, for a man, uh, I think. They are more likely to vote for it. Man. <laughs> what a way to start the episode. We just doubled our uh, our empire. Oh no longer valid? Okay. That sucks. It was a war. Fought for nothing. Um, declare war. I, now I, I kind of have to kill my mom, right? To kill Princess Kale of the Byzantine Empire? Don't do that. Leader of a plot. Yeah, in prison. Get out of here. Execute. Tyrannical. Ah, too bad. Can throw her in the Obliette, I guess. Yeah, minus two health. She's already stressed. Let's do that. Plot to kill? Oh, we couldn't even do that. We want to inherit her claim, that's why I'm doing this. So that when this guy dies, we can capture Jerusalem. Uh, Georgios Paleologos is now Figo H grid. I just hope they don't find out and I become a Kinslayer. That, that would suck. Should we just have her die naturally? We could do that, I guess. Ah, let's, uh, let's try to kill her. Come on. Reputation is ruined. Oh no. I'm still not a Kinslayer. I'll just have to try again. At least no one suspects my role in this. Okay. Intrigue heavy episode this, guys. <laughs> we have so many new wonders also. We have Petra. In, uh, we, can, we, can, we can restore that, I guess. 400 gold? Yeah, that's worth it. Love it. <laughs> we have the Great, great Pyramid of Khufu. We're not gonna build that. We cannot build that even, because we, uh, we, we are not a lunatic. <laughs> It's a pretty, yeah, it's pretty, I, it's, I, I think that's fun that uh, you either need to be like Egyptian or Coptic or you need to uh, be a lunatic because why else would you want to spend all of your money on restoring these pyramids? Um, alrighty, we have quite a bit of money now, 71 gold per month, holy moly. I think we can uh, we can make some more, uh, some more retinues, let's do that. No one will expect, uh, suspect foul play on our part. Come on. Come on. We just have to try again now, ah, damn it. We'll try again. <laughs> you would think she would get suspicious, but uh, she doesn't. Ah, no fingers will be pointed my way. Great. Did we inherit the claim? Yes. <laughs> okay. Great. Great news. <laughs> Weak claims can only be pressed against female rulers, regencies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. Sentence commuted. Now just this guy has to die. <laughs> can we uh, can we murder him? 
78%. <laughs> it's intrigue heavy, but we are good at intrigue, so... No, let's not do that. Um, we needed to kill someone else, <laughs> I forget. <laughs> um, okay, we don't... Okay, this guy has a, has a weak claim on the Kingdom of France, actually. Hey, he built the Notre Dame. Uh, can we press it for him? No. Who will inherit? Oh, this, this woman will inherit. This little girl. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. We could make our more powerful, most powerful vessel even more powerful. <laughs> but, you know, on the other hand, it's fine. Because we will most likely play as one of his kids. And, and we, will, we will inherit all his kingdoms anyway. So, it's win-win, right? We will just give them out as vice royalties again. Vice royalty of France. <laughs> Man. Insane. Uh, should we hire some more retinues? Yeah. Let's, let's hire some more. One, two, three, four. Is it all... Um, get the fracture did I make a mistake? I think I made a mistake. You can go here. But then you go here. You go here. You go here. You go here. And then we will disband this army. It's a bit of a waste of money, but... I do want to be cataphracts only, because I think they're cool. I think cataphracts are cool, guys. I'm sorry. I just uh, I just uh, spent like a thousand gold. <laughs> uh, or, yeah, lost a thousand gold by uh, deleting those retinues. But, eh, I like cataphracts. We're getting to a point where, yeah, 26k, so we can have like six or 7,000 retinue units, which is insane. I'm becoming really, really strong. Really, really strong. We finally, finally made some progress again, huh? All this intrigue, we, 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 we spent like three or four episodes <laughs> uh, intriguing our way uh, to this claim. And I, I'm, I'm happy to see it paid off. Uh, Jerusalem Knight Revolt. Oh, for Count Loop's claim on Jerusalem. Uh, uh, that means... Yes. <laughs> that was not smart. <laughs> we don't have to wait for him to die. Because... Um, because uh, we, you can also press weak claims if there is another uh, claimant claimant war going on, <laughs> and there is. So, yeah, <laughs> too bad, my man. I'm gonna grab Jerusalem from you. Uh, I I'm sat next to Vasileus Ricardo at di dinner when he tells me about a family of Muslims which was attacked in his capital Capua. I wish they had been left alone. Their business was a vital cog in the local economy and a great source of taxes. Which uh, Ricardo sighs. Such senseless, senseless violence. My heart aches for them. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. There's not, uh, not, not, not many Muslims left anyway in the world. So, uh, they, they don't pose a threat. They don't pose a threat to our, uh, our empire. Not at all. Oh, yeah, we, uh, converted, uh, the, uh, county of Alexandria to the Orthodox faith. So that means, I guess, now that the... Oh, there's still no uh, Orthodox Bishop of Alexandria. But I think probably this one is now ticked off. No, not yet. Okay. We also need to capture that one fort in Rome, to Tusculum, at some point. Because we don't hold the whole county of Rome. Um, and I can also want to check. Yeah. So Rome. We have a, a patriarch in Rome. One in Constantinople. One in Antioch. One over here. Bulgaria. Great. Whole bunch of patriarchs. We don't want no, uh, no Pope. 1424k, that's enough. That's enough. Should we lead it? No, no, we have, we have, we have, we have a couple of very good commanders. <laughs> the Ecumenical Patriarch is also a pretty great commander. You can lead, and you can lead as well. You guys can move to... Uh, oh, there's 20k troops here. Oh, that's probably the, uh, the retinue of, uh, of, uh, of my husband, right? Where's my husband? Is he? Oh, he's, he is a uh, commander. Exarch of Bulgaria. You can lead your own army, my man. With this guy. Boethios, who is a eunuch, really? Oh, no. Yeah, he is. He's a eunuch. Okay. Weird, but okay. <laughs> he's allowed. He's allowed to be a eunuch. That's no problem. I, uh, I don't mind. <laughs> it's probably not uh, <laughs> a free choice of his, but uh, whatever. Uh, oh, we are losing... People too. Oh, uh, rare artifact or yeah, it's a rare artifact. Okay. Um, Ecclesiastical Haristos. Yeah, he's great, right? Yeah. 
That guy's fine. If, if it's rare, it's fine. If it's if it's just a regular artifact, it's not really worth it. Even with rare artifact, it's not really worth it. But we have we have plenty of money, so malaise and uh, mal malaise, malaise, ma ma malaise. <laughs> I don't know. I don't speak English. What are you talking about? What you talking about? I don't speak no English. Let's go to uh, the the capital of the kingdom of Jerusalem. You should have your diplomats minus 15 general opinion. Are you serious? Do I want that? I mean, I suppose. How long is it? Five years. Uh, fine. Okay. I think we can uh, we can handle it. Uh, Venetian Liberation Revolt. Declared liberation of Venice on Vasilis Iulia. Okay. Worrisome. They seek to restore the kingdom of Venice. Well, you can, can forget about that. <laughs> you are so dead, my man. We will uh, we'll raid some boats. Boats. We have a backup army, right? It's uh, a gathering over here. We will move them to uh, to Venice. We have so many troops right now. Twenty k from one vessel. <laughs> uh, Non-aggression pact with this guy. The rightful place among the civilized nations. He wants to become uh, orthodox. That's fine, I suppose. Yeah, we can help you. What about the uh, the Crusader state of Mali? Oh, here they are. They're still around. I think they shrunk quite a bit, yeah. These guys are all independent now. <laughs> oh, good for them. Good for them for uh, throwing off the Catholic yoke. You guys can, uh, can go to Antioch and uh, mo uh, move in with the rest of the troops there. A version of Kanem. Ah, here we go. You receive news from missionaries only a few days after the mass baptism of Jimmy. Although the priest, priest writes that he does not feel entirely convinced about the sincerity of the barbarian's conversion, the ceremony went well and Kanem is now officially orthodox. By aiding in the conversion of an entire score of pagans to the one true faith, we have accomplished a feat worthy of the apostles themselves. I will become known as the missionary. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Random. Uh, we are now known as the missionary. I mean, I don't want to make the joke, but we d we do have seduction focus, so you know, <laughs> it works both ways. <laughs> We're known as uh, as the missionary or the sixty nine. <laughs> that would actually be more appropriate than being known for converting that this one backwater. But okay, I'm pregnant again. My husband will be pleased. Oh, we shouldn't forget about the uh, the Phoenician revolt. 15k. Let's go. Let's, uh, let's nip it in the butt. I don't want uh, Venice to come back, man. I don't want that. I don't want that at all. 95%. Almost there. I hope uh, we will not be immediately at war with this guy, although we might be. 100%. There we go. Oh, it's already... Uh, I guess he already died. <laughs> we now have Queen Sibyl of Jerusalem. Okay, well, too bad, uh, Queen uh, Sibyl, because we're going to grab, uh, take your uh, your kingdom of you immediately. Vasilisa Yulia, the missionary against the kingdom of Jerusalem. Yes. There we go. <laughs> now we have to fight the uh, revolt. That's fine. We have the army there anyway, right? I would say the Phoenician war going. Uh, they better not use it. Are we winning? Mm, I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Are we going to lose this whole army? That would suck. <laughs> we are, I think. Why are they back in the boats? No. We lost that whole army. Holy crow. Oh, fuck. That are you serious? Oh, man. We lost We lost our entire retinue. <laughs> that wasn't smart. Okay, well, we will get back with, uh, with a larger army then. At some point. Okay. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we uh, we lost our entire retinue <laughs> doing that. Uh, it was a stupid move. Town of the, or the castle. Let's do the town. No, we should have done the, the the castle. That was not smart. Shouldn't click these events so quickly, man. Should think about them a little. Because we uh, we have minus fifteen opinion from this uh, this diplomat thing. So we we really could have used plus fifteen uh, feudal opinion. That would have been great. Oh well. What are you gonna do? Oh, we have factions again. Independence. 
Ugh. Why do you guys hate me? Normal reasons? Basically, yeah. Mm, send gift. 20. I don't want to don't want a faction revolt right now. Hello, here's some money. Mm. Do King of Sicily. 300 gold. Yeah, okay, let's let's let's, let's, let's seduce him. Where is he? Leading troops in Hebron. Okay, that's where we are, I think. Well, we're not, but we could be. Uh, we could be. Uh, let's put ourselves uh, in this army. Where are we? Oh, are we not here? Oh, we are. Uh, we are in uh, high pregnancy, of course. I'll try to seduce him. Reach has ended, and it's another girl. Too bad. Too bad. But it's fine, I suppose. Uh, the brightest mind shall be at your disposal. Yeah, minus 25% technology spread rate. I don't care so much about that. That's fine. Uh, there is no rush. We will actually uh, move closer to you, my man. So we are now in the same army. And now we can uh, we can seduce you. Mm, 84%. Despot of Sicily. Of uh, Syria. Hmm. You want some booze? Here you go. <laughs> The brewery has really been uh, paying for itself. Um, oh, here's my other army. We should uh, go like this. Try to attack that uh, that rebel army up there. Excellent. I guess probably also people hate me because uh, uh, I hold too many titles. No, I guess not. Uh, I do so love teasing the dear man because I, I hold the kingdom of Jerusalem, right? Maybe maybe that's not a de jure because it's not a de jure vessel of the Byzantines or something. It doesn't matter. Probably. Probably that's the case. Um, there's no rush. There is kind of a rush, actually. <laughs> a blower struck. Let's attack this guy. Oh, we inherited the Duchy of Gerson and all the titles. We'll give it out again. Who is here? This guy's Greek. This is me. Or we could give it to our, uh, our heir, actually. Where is he? Our, um, our brother. Half-brother. Yeah. My man, uh, I'm going to give you the county of Theodosia and the duchy of Gerson. Enjoy. There was no rush. Surely we are in the same army as him. I don't know why uh, <laughs> Why they, they think there's a rush. Castle of Atlit. Alright. We also really should do uh, another uh, uh, amphibious assault on Venice. Um, oh, my rebel is offering peace. Imprisoned. He's surrendering, I think. Oh, white peace. No, 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 no. No, we don't accept that. We have to surrender or uh, or nothing. My man. Enforce demands. I'm losing, but I won't give up yet. You will. It's 83%. Factions are still uh, very powerful. I don't like that. We need to focus on that. I suppose. But we really need to win this war first. It's more important. 93%. Let's intercept these guys. Hopefully that will end the war. 100%, yes. Okay. My rebellious vessel. Enforce demands. Okay, you guys move here. Because we are immediately going to uh, Venice. And we will revoke... Oh, we cannot revoke this title. You are... Uh, you are... Uh, revolting against me. Oh, I guess we cannot... Uh, banish them. No, okay. Release will uh, hopefully. Ah, yeah, will uh, increase the opinion of my vessels. That's like uh, I can really use that right now. So let's do that. So we are we are now the queen of Jerusalem. Officially, look at this. Ha! The Eastern Mediterranean is a Byzantine lake. <laughs> we uh, just need to grab some land here, and we're uh, we're finished. <laughs> yeah, we need to need to re recapture these two counties, but. Uh, yeah, we will do that at some point. Not in a hurry, right? Now we need to just deal with these Phoenician uh, revolters. With the city back under East Roman control, the Patriarchate of Jerusalem has been properly restored as one of the Episcopal sees of the Pentarchy and the Eastern Orthodox Church. It was originally founded by St. James the Just, who was made head of the Church of Jerusalem soon after the death of Jesus. God be praised. Let's move our, our guy over there. He can convert it. Okay, uh, we need... We have a tiger, movement speed, royal damage, yeah. 
We need, we need some decent people here. Julia, sure. She's a flat terrain expert. I think that's that's helpful. Makara is desperate of Sicily. He's already here. I think this is, a, this is a good crew. We underestimated the Venetians again. But hopefully this time uh, we outnumber them enough that it won't be a problem. Uh, there is no rush. A new church is what they need. Money is always useful. I cannot spare funds to help the savages right now. No, let's build a new church for this guy. That's fine. Marvelous. Enjoy your new church, my man. My buddy. There's no rush. There we go. Okay, hopefully we will win this time. We outnumber them quite significantly, so I think we should. There's no rush. There we go. Okay, 100%. We're at peace again. Off peace. Thank you. We'll execute you. <laughs> we have a valid reason, because you revolted against us. Let's lower the troops. And we lost our retinue, which I'm still a bit, uh, a bit angry about. But we're at peace again. <sighs> Finally. Militarize the Brotherhood of the Holy Sepulchre. Um, okay, can we do that now? What do we need for that? County of Jerusalem? Okay, we only need the County of Jerusalem for that. Okay. I thought we might need the whole uh, the whole pentarchy there. I suppose not. Uh, okay. Yeah, we can do that. We, uh, we can use the Holy Order. Um, Militarize the Brotherhood of the Holy Sepulchre so that they can break, fight back the encroaching invaders of all the other faiths. Yes. Yes. The Brotherhood of the Holy Sepulchre. The Brotherhood has worked tirelessly to protect Christian holy sites and relics in the Holy Land ever since it was founded in 313, when the Edict of Milan legalized Christendom throughout the Roman Empire. Until recently, the Brotherhood consisted of ordained clergy, clergy who maintained and safeguarded these religious sites through largely peaceful means. As the winds of change sweep across the world, this holy order has now become increasingly militarized and their ranks have grown dramatically, to include professional soldiers as well. They have reaffirmed their, their, their dedication to protect the Holy Land from heathen invaders, but this pledge is now extended to include the defense of all of Orthodox Christendom. Christendom. A laudable goal. Well, indeed. Indeed. Are you my vessel as well? Uh, can we offer you vesselization? Or are you my vessel already? Oh, he's my vessel already. Okay, great. Duchess Sibyl of Outre Jordan. We're not going to give you the kingdom either. This guy has been our loyal Orthodox French vessel for a while, though. I don't like that his, uh, his wife, who is our family member, is, uh, is, is Catholic, but... You know, he was, he, he's been in uh, Jerusalem for quite a while, actually. So I think he deserves it. Kingdom of Jerusalem. Here you go. We also hold the Kingdom of Epirus, apparently. And this, this guy is at least Orthodox, and he's a Polo. Here you go. My man. Hopefully that... Uh ah, okay, everyone, everyone likes me again. Oh, no, no, they don't. Sometimes it does. The game does this. You cannot sort this properly. I think this should this should resolve some of this faction uh, factionalism. I hope so, at least. We might organize a feast uh, later. All right. Let's enjoy the fruits of our labor for a while. Ah, we converted Jerusalem to the Orthodox faith. Very nice. What about the crown authority? Who has the most votes? Exarch of Trebizond. He doesn't like me apparently. And the um, despot of Sicily doesn't want to vote for me. Why don't you like me, my man? And um, you're 10. Small feudal tax. Let's control the duchy of Paflagonia. We can do that, I guess. Where's that duchy? Over here? Yeah. We can give you that duchy. I don't know why it's not under you. You want to convert? No. Too bad. Okay, I guess, I guess we just have to sort of accept that, uh, that Catholicism is here to stay. Does that, uh, does that help you, my man? That looks like it, right? Uh, this guy has declared a holy war. Uh, confess my love. Um, sure. Let our love grow. It's nice to have this guy uh, such a high, uh, high opinion of us. This guy, despot of Syria. Can we help you with something? Not really, right? No. Can we give you some money, maybe? No, I guess not. Can we have a private conversation with you? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, <laughs> grab my dagger and stab him in the heart. I got to seduce him. Mm, we will know each other a little better. 
We can try to seduce him. Rise of Shia, the schism at the heart of Islam dates back to its early days. The majority Sunnis have long persecuted the followers of Ali. Okay, the uh, Shia are here. Where are they? Okay, all the way over there. Huh? <laughs> is, it, is this Shia? Yeah, it is. This guy converted to Sunni, Yazidi heresy. <laughs> the Yazidis are the largest Muslim faction. Huh? <laughs> that tells you something. Life is good. Okay, he falls in love with me. Great. <laughs> it's nice playing as a young woman. <laughs> we have no problem with rebellious vessels. Surely he will leave now. The vessel. The, the faction. So exalted among men. Great. I'm not a man. But I guess I am exalted among men. 29 years old. And we oversaw the largest expansion in the history of the Byzantine Empire. With very little bloodshed. Even Michael wasn't able to expand this much. <laughs> okay, and now we own all the uh, the patriarchies, I think. Yeah. yeah, we're almost there actually. We just need to conquer that one barony in Rome that we don't uh, we don't own. We need to have sufficient piety, but that will come in time. And we need to uh, we need to claim the uh, the bishopric of Alexandria for orthodoxy. I guess we could. I mean, let's not do it right now. Let's just wait for the the, the general opinion, my malice, uh, to go down. But uh, we could just retract the the vassalage from my husband. We could just say, uh, husband, I... Uh, where is it? Uh, retract vassalage is one, right? Oh, here. Can we not do that? This is an, isn't a non-aggression pact. Okay, I guess we cannot do that. I was going to say, we could just retract the, uh, the vassalage of this guy. And then grab the... Uh, Grab the, uh, the, the the county of Alexandria, but uh, maybe not. Uh, we cannot miss this opportunity. Minus twenty five percent national levy size. Oof. Okay. Uh, okay. Fine. Fine. This is what I mean, guys. This is it's really not worth it. <laughs> it's fun to do, but it's really not worth the investment. This, uh, the artifact search. We better get something amazing, or I will be very angry. I want to move uh, my Ecclesia actually back to uh, Alexandria, in the hope of uh, converting this guy to Orthodoxy and also the uh, the bishopric. That would be great. But I think also it will help. Um, it will help quite a lot if we can restore the Pentarchy. Um, because sorry, uh, meant the Great Schism, because it will mean that um, Catholicism becomes a heresy. So that means, if we have medium crown authority, if we will ever get that back again, we can revoke infidel titles free, and I think that includes heretic titles. So we can revoke the title of every single one of our Catholic vessels, which would be insanely good. But uh, sadly, uh, it's not there yet. I want to uh, I want to try to pass this law. Who is the, the one with the largest amount of votes? Uh, the Exarch of Trebizond is still not voting for this, huh? My man, we gave you the duchy that you asked for. What more do you want? What more do you want, my man? And plot, please. <laughs> Opinion is of, of Vasilisa Julia. It's my leash. She wants to fabricate a claim on the duchy. Okay. Can we give you some booze already again? Yeah, send the alcohol gift. Here you go. Please vote for me. Please vote for me. Ah, there we, I, think, I think he voted for me. Great. Uh, who else do we have? Uh, we have Dux Gagiki the Silent. Where is he? He's got nine votes. Gagiki. That's a uh, sort by name. Uh, Gagiki. Here you go. He's, he's a Georgian. He hits me. Why? Once control of the barony of Aupatoria. Do I hold that? Where is that? Is that a vessel of mine? It is. Oh, I'm sorry about that, my man. Uh, if, you want, if, if, if that makes you join me, then, uh, then that's fine, right? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Byzantine Empire. Uh, as you can see, we are missing something. <laughs> we are missing the Kingdom of Egypt and the Kingdom of Jerusalem. Uh, the uh, Byzantine Empire is half the size it was. 
And that is because uh, I uh, exited, the, exited the game without uh, manually saving uh, to have some dinner. Uh, but yeah, apparently the autosave was still turned on to once every 25 years because that's what I do when I record a time lapse for the series to make sure that the the, the time lapse is, is running smoothly and doesn't uh, stop every yeah every every year to to auto save uh, and it was still turned to 25 years so it never saved so we are still we are again back in 2051 which was the end of last episode and we yeah <laughs> we no longer own Egypt we no longer own Jerusalem and I really don't feel like replaying that whole eight years because it was a very specific series of events that uh, that that made us uh, grab those two kingdoms and i really don't feel like spending all that effort on that again so i think we're gonna have to call it here i think we're gonna have to end the series here um because i don't feel like uh, replaying uh, the coming eight years um sorry about that uh we were very close though to uh, mending the schism so I think I'm gonna just show you guys how to do that uh, by uh, console commands, so that you guys know uh, what will happen, what would have happened if we had done that. Because we we were very close. We only needed to uh, at s at s somehow convert uh, Alexandria, so convert the bishop of Alexandria, which would have happened rather soon, I think, because this yeah this guy has a 90% chance of converting the subject religion, which. Uh, yeah, every year he has a 90% chance. So at some point he would have converted the Bishop of Alexandria. And then only the only thing we needed we would have needed to, to do was grab the Barony of Tusculum. And then we would have been able to enact that decision. So I feel like it's justified if I just uh, briefly show you guys what uh, how, how you do that. Uh, uh, let me, I'll be right back. I'll just uh, annex these uh, kingdoms via console. Yes, welcome back, guys. Um... I annexed the Kingdom of Jerusalem and the Kingdom of uh, Egypt by console, and then I grabbed the counties by console and converted the, the two bishops. Uh, and then after that, I grabbed that one barony that the Pope still owned in in Rome. And that those were all the requirements that were necessary for the the, the, the decision. So we're just gonna have a look at that as uh, as the last. Oh, I really need some piety as well, I guess. Okay, <laughs> I will be right back. There we go. <laughs> so uh, that's where those were all the three, the all the requirements we needed for the uh, mending of the Great Schism. So I feel it's justified console cheating a little uh, and to end the series series at least on a somewhat high note. <laughs> um, there is now a button here called Mend the Great Schism. The Great Schism saw the Christian Church divided into two branches. But if all five of the Episcopal sees of the Pentarchy could be restored under Roman rule and the Orthodox faith. There may be a chance to finally reunite Christendom. There we go. We, we, we now fulfill all these requirements. Let's press the button. The Great Schism Mended. At last, the Great Schism between the Western Catholic Church and the Eastern Orthodox Church has been mended. With the spread of Orthodoxy and the reunification of the Pentarchy, including the vital Episcopal See of Rome, the Catholic faith now holds little sway over the people of Europe. There will be those who still cling to it, but they will be few in number, and the Pentarchy can once more claim universal rule over all of Christendom. Okay, have a look guys, because this is now all Catholic. Let's see what happens when we press this button. The Catholic religion becomes a heresy of the Orthodox faith, and I will be known as the Saint. Gods be praised. There we go. <laughs> we didn't deserve it. We didn't deserve it. We cheated our way into it. But I feel like we've earned it anyway. I feel like the Paleologos dynasty uh, will, uh, will have established a reputation that will stand the test of time as the restorers of the Byzantine Empire. Um, we now have uh, restored the one true Christian faith. This guy is now Orthodox, the King of France, Orthodox, King of England, Orthodox. <laughs> the Pope is not Orthodox, he is Catholic, a Orthodox heresy. All right, yeah, uh, I will <laughs> will pay more attention to my uh, my auto save feature next time. But I still feel like you know uh, it was a fun series anyway. Uh, we will, we will. Uh, we, I, I had fun doing it. There were a couple of frustrating moments, but we did manage, uh, despite me not saving properly, we did manage to conquer Egypt and Jerusalem both, <laughs> and we did manage to 
uh, to start from a couple of provinces here in Anatolia to with a few counties up here uh, to, uh, to, 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 to expand can conquer Bulgaria, conquer Greece, conquer Croatia, Serbia, Sicily, Anatolia, Georgia, Jerusalem, Egypt, Egypt, Africa, uh, and establish the Byzantine Empire as it was under uh, people like uh, Justinian and uh, Heraclius. So, we will end the series there. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and the next series will probably be up on Tuesday uh, or maybe Thursday. Uh, because it's Easter weekend and I am spending it uh, with my family. So I, I don't know how much time I will have to uh, record and set everything up. You know, create new thumbnails, uh, think of a premise. Uh, I would like you guys, yeah, for those of you who are still watching, I would like you guys input on uh, the next series. I'm planning to do a uh, Game of Thrones mod run. Uh, so a, a run of the, the famous uh, CK2 Game of Thrones mod. So let me know if you guys uh, would like that. And if so... What character you would like me to play uh, in, in the Game of Thrones mod. Thanks a lot for watching. And uh, yeah, sorry about the, uh, <laughs> the amateurishness of the ending of this series. But you know, in the end I'm still doing this, uh, this for fun and not for money. So if I don't feel like replaying uh, 8 years of, uh, of game, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> it's easy as that. So uh, uh, yeah, let me know uh, what, what character you would like me to play in the Game of Thrones uh, series. Or if you would like me to do something uh, completely different. And... Um, uh, we will see each other on either Tuesday or Thursday. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.